Hey YouTube, uh, what's up? I'm Griggs at School 15, and that's that's Gwendolyn. Oh my gosh, look at her in her little little these are little cupcake pajamas. What we're doing today um, is uh, Pokemon Go PvP because it is Thursday, and uh, so I'm just gonna talk a little bit about what's gonna happen, and then we'll switch to what's happening. Um, so I'm doing Pokemon Go PvP with my friend Super Steve. 888. Um, what we are doing is Fusion Cup, and the rules for Fusion Cup are pretty straightforward. Uh, you uh, you must use Pokemon that have two types, so like Fire Flying, Grass Poison, Ice, Steel. I don't know. Uh, so that's the that, that's really it. Um, you can't use Pokemon whose charge moves are too expensive. The cutoff is a 50k. So that means no 75k charge moves, that means no 100k charge moves, thus no legendaries, which is pretty neat. Um, let's get into some battles with uh, Super Steve. I forgot, there's a couple bands. You cannot use Azumarill, Metacham, Dugong, and Wormadam, any form. No Wormadams, period. So those are the banned Pokemon. Now we know, we're ready to go. Now let's get into the battles. Hey there, it's Grixis, doing all kinds of things. Hey there, it's Grixis Cool, playing all kinds of games. Pokemon and Magic the Gathering, come on down for all kinds of wild things. Alright, so here we are. Um, this is Steve's team. Super Steve is playing Alolan Muck, Venusaur, Alolan, Sandslash, uh, Charizard, Altaria, and Swampert. It's worth noting that three of these Pokemon are um, are Shinies. So that's pretty cool. Down below, uh, you will see my team. I am playing Celio again. I know, I just, I love it so much. I wanted to see how it played in Fusion. And, you know, since this is just for fun, this is the time when you pick something fun and just roll with it. Right, Gwen? Yes. Uh, I've got Bronzong, which is cool. Um, he's uh, you know really high ranked on the PV poke list, so I wanted to try out one of the more high ranked Pokemon. Um, I've also not had the opportunity to use Bronzong on a team of six since building it, so I was really 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 excited to get to do that. So that's what that's about. Um, next in line, Alolan Marowak. You saw me pilot Alolan Marowak when I did open battles. Uh, I really think it's a strong Pokemon. It's another high rated one, and I have a lot of practice it from all my time in the uh, the Sinister Cup. So for that reason, I went with. Alolan Marowak. Uh, up next is Altaria. Altaria is the highest ranking Pokemon in the Fusion Cup, and I own one, and it's shiny. So I decided to play with Altaria, see how it goes, see how I liked it, to decide whether or not I want to bring it to an event when the time comes for me to do an event. Right, Gwenny? That's right. Um, up next is Wishcash. I've obviously talked before about why I like Wishcash so much, uh, so I decided to bring Wishcash again, and I'm quite thankful I did, um, because there's a few things on there that I think Wishcash dealt with quite nicely. And then, of course, finally, is Toxicroak. Um, Toxicroak is a little bit further down the list on the rankings, but um, it's a really cool Pokemon, one that I like a lot. It's a lot of fun to play with, and it is very strong. If I could do this over again, I would spend a little bit more time picking my team than I did, because if you look at the move sets, you will see that four of the six Pokemon use ground, um, I'm, there's just really not a lot of coverage going on, and as soon as I saw Steven's team, I thought to myself, oh, I think he may have put more thought of it in, than, uh, into it than I did. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into um, the games. Okay, let's actually get into this thing. This is game one against uh, Super Steve. I have led with Bronzong, um, and then Celio and Toxicroak. Um, that's the game plan. We'll see how it goes. Over there you can see Super Steve, who is dressed uh, like Tuxedo Mask, or at least the best Tuxedo Mask that you can get on Pokemon Go. <laughs> anyway, let's get right into this thing. Go, Bronzong. Um, Alolan Muck, not exactly who I want to see right now. Confusion is not at all going to hit this thing hard. Um, so what I'm trying to do is switch, and you can see it's super not working. Um, but eventually I do get the switch, um, and I bring in Toxicroak to deal some solid counter damage, um, as well as get some Mud Bobs going. Shielding that was absolutely a mistake. I was expecting something much larger um, than a Dark Pulse, but it didn't come. So I should not have shielded that. Here, uh, I'm, he brought in Altaria, 
which is a great play. And I'm trying to sludge bomb, get that big damage, but instead I just break a shield, which I'm okay with. Um, so now I'm going to go for the mud bomb, hope to break that second shield with like a little bit of a baity tactic here. But unfortunately it doesn't work. The mud bomb connects and deals like two damage maybe. Uh, but I'm going for another one because um, I don't quit. I don't give. Um, I did not break that second shield. Um, let's see what I bring out next. Celio. Celio is dealing a bunch of damage because of Altaria's dragon and flying combo typing. Um, so that's the plan there, is just whittle it down. Now I'm going to go for a body slam once this move resolves. There it is. You can see that Celio didn't actually take an insane amount of damage from Sky Attack, which is nice. So uh, Celio is one chunky monkey. So I go for the body slam and it is shielded, which is fine by me because now I can fire off a second body slam and take out the Altaria. Now it's just two on two, no shields. We will see what happens. So Muck comes right in, fires off a dog po Dark Pulse, taking out the Celio. I come back in with Bronzong. Unfortunately, Bronzong, um, the Confusion's not dealing crazy damage to the AWAC. Um, oh, I misspoke. Uh, there's Steven had one more Pokemon in the line. Now it's absolutely not my game because what am I going to do here? Nothing. I'm going to take a Blast Burn. That's the end of that. So Steve gets game one. What did we learn? Charizard crushes Bronzong. Bronzong does not crush AWAC, and Celio may not have been the best choice to bring to this thing. So let's move right along to game two. Boop, game two. So game two, I am leading with Altaria. Time to put this awesome beastie poo to the test, see what it does. Um, up next, I bring in Celio and Toxicroak in the back. So we will see how this team, uh, how this team goes. Uh, yeah, let's let's just get right into it then. Where's my play button? There we go! Leading Altaria against Swampert. Um, let's just see how this one plays out. Um, the plan here is farm up some energy, like you can see, and then switch out. And I do not know how this Sky Attack fired, but it was 100% an accident. I did not want to do it. So that's unfortunate. Um, so now we're going Altaria against Altaria. I'm trying to just whittle it down. Uh, with the Dragon Breath and not even get to a charge move. that That's exactly what I'm trying to do here. Whittle, 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 whittle. I get there. Sweet. So now the plan is switch Altaria out with a full set of energy and then fight whatever he sent out. Unfortunately, that didn't work. He got to the charge move before I could get to the switch out. Uh, so I am now shieldless up against two shields. Um, yep. Swamper gets that Earthquake, I have no shields, Bronzong, it's like, what's a Bronzong going to do against an Earthquake? Nothing. So, I send out Altaria, but unfortunately it's just too little too late. You know, he's got the double shields, and uh, I don't have shields. So Hydro Cannon is going to make uh, quick work of my Altaria here. They may have made Hydro Cannon a little bit weaker, but Hydro Cannon is still Hydro Cannon, and Swamper is still Swamper, so it's still, it does, it does a good the trick, right? So I'm trying to counter him down as best as I can, but he does have that shield left, so whatever I send out is just going to get blocked um, up until Steve can charge up a... Uh, I think he just goes for the Frenzy Plane here. Yeah, there it is. So it doesn't quite kill me, but unfortunately, when you look at my health and you look at his health, there's no friggin' way I'm going to get there. Steven unfortunately got to his charge move before I could get to mine. Therefore, game two is all said and done, and it goes to, uh, to Super Steve. So let's uh, move right along to game three, shall we? Okay, here we are, game three. I am 0-2, which means if I lose this game, I lose the entire set. And what I've been doing so far has not been working. So I'm going with a super different squad this time. Lead Altaria, followed by Whiskash, followed by AWAC. I'm hoping by mixing it up, I'm going to hit just the right notes and be able to flip this somehow and come back from 0-2. So here we go, leading with Altaria. He sends out Amok. Um, I, I see that, and I know that in the back I have answers to Amok, so my plan here is I'm going to Dragon Breath until I have a decent amount of energy, and then switch right out. Now, his plan was the same, and he switched into a Lowland Sand Slash, which is awesome, to fight Altaria, but unfortunately I brought the Whiskash in. That's a favorable matchup for me. Uh, as you can see, Mud Bomb just did crazy hard damage to the, um, to the A Slash. I take that Ice Punch with a smile, and I'm going to go for another Mud Bomb here to either break his shield or to kill the Slash. 
Um, he shielded it um, to keep the slash in. I guess he wanted to go for that one more charge move, but I'm just going to let that charge move resolve because you saw how little damage it did, did the last time and I knew it wasn't going to be able to So here we go again uh, with another Mud Bomb from the Wish Cache trying to take out that A slash and I get there, which is sweet. In comes Altaria, so I bring in my own onto Altaria, which has a lot of energy, so I fire off that Sky Attack right away because I think he's going to think it's a Dragon Pulse. And that's exactly what's happened, and that's exactly why he shielded that, thinking Dragon Pulse can't take it. I still have my two shields, so I'm going to shield what I'm assuming is a Dragon Pulse, and it is. Um, and now I'm saving up for my Dragon Pulse. I get there, which is awesome. He's all out of shields, and now I can just Dragon Pulse his Altaria right out of there. And all I have enough now to deal with is the... Muck. Um, Altaria has done everything it needs to do, so it can go ahead and die. Sorry, fam. And now in comes the, uh, what's it called, Whiskash to do a little bit more chip damage and get one more Mud Bomb off before it says goodbye. Um, and that's pretty much the end of Whiskash, but at the same time, it was also the end of Amok. And then I still had Awak in the back to finish up what needed to be done. So that is a game for Grixis. And now we can move right on to game four because I, I survived. Here we go, game four. Honestly, I was so happy with my lineup in game three that I just brought the exact same lineup to game four. So let's see how it plays out again. I really like that set of three. So let's see how they fare once more. Okay, Altaria versus Charizard. Charizard is uh, dealing fire damage, so it's not super effective, but I know I can get to Dragon Claw crazy fast, but I leave Altaria in and he switches to the A slash. Unfortunately, I tried to switch and it didn't work out so well, so now I had to blow a shield on that ice punch. Uh, but in comes the AWAC, which does bonkers damage to slash. Now, I have one shield left. I don't really want to lose it, and honestly, I think it's ice punch, but unfortunately, I was super wrong. It was bulldoze. It did crazy hard damage to me. Luckily, I was able to kill the A slash with, uh, with a whole ton of energy, so when Charizard comes out, he now has to either take a shadow ball or block it choosing to block it, I believe to be the correct play. Um, a slash has kind of done everything it needs to do at this point, so I'm just going to let it die and save that last shield. And in comes Whiskash. The plan here is to save up for Blizzard. And luckily, I am able to do that, and switch timer resets. In comes Altaria with Sky Attack ready to go, and I fire that Sky Attack right away because I know it's going to break a shield, otherwise Venusaur just dies. Uh, so he's got to his Frenzy Plan, sorry, Sludge Bomb, and I shield it because I want Altaria to survive to get to another Sky Attack to clear the Venusaur. That's really what Altaria needs to do is clear Venusaur, and uh, Altaria survives the Venusaur Sludge Bomb, allows me to get to Sky Attack, charge it up, swipe the uh, Venusaur, get it out of there. Altaria does a little bit more work here with Charizard, just kind of whittling it down. Uh, but whatever Charizard's about to throw at me is going to kill Altaria, and then I can bring in Whiskash. Blizzard, ready to go. Blizzard, fire! And I'm charging it right up. Blizzard swings, hits the Charizard, and that's the game. I'm now 2-2. Two and two. I have successfully um, come back from a horrible rocky 0-2 start. So we're at 2-2. Two, two. Let's go into game 5 and see how we tie up the set. And so here we have it, the final game. Game five, I have led with Altaria again, with Whiskash and Awak in the back. So the same three that you've seen. Uh, let's see how it goes. So we open with Altaria each, which is pretty rad. We're having an Altaria off. And uh, I check my back row to see if there's anything I'd rather switch into. There's not. So my plan here is to let him get to his charge move. I assume it's a Dragon Pulse, so I shield. My assumption is correct. And then I fire back with a Sky Attack hoping that he will think it's a Dragon Pulse, um, which he does, so he shields that, and then I'm not far off from another Sky Attack, which I managed to get to before he can get to his own Sky Attack. So the option here is either shield or let Altaria die. He chooses to let the Altaria die. Um, so uh, in comes Charizard. I'm going to try to get to a Wing Attack. It's not successful. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Charizard's done. Or Altaria's done all it needs to do. I bring in the Whiskash because I want to just get to that Blizzard right away. Um, but also, I'm trying to force him to switch, which is very cool um, and successful. So I switch out the Whiskash, bring in the AWAC, um, because I'm gonna, I know I'm going to try to beat down with the Bone Clubs, and I know I can take 
uh, a smaller charge move if one comes my way. So um, that's really what's happening here. I let the charge move in um, so that I can ramp up to a final bone club before AWACS says goodbye. So the, you have to either shield this bone club or you have to let the muck die. He chooses to shield so the muck can clear the AWAC. Um, and I send in my whisk cash. I decide to block this charge move because I really don't have to do much left to the AMOC to kill it. And as you can see, I successfully killed it and hit the blizzard. So now Charizard comes out and once again, I can just windmill slam, boom, blizzard. And Charizard is knocked out. And I have, I have, I've, I've been victorious and I take the games five to three, five to two, four to two, and <laughs> So let's just move to my closing remarks where I talk about what I've learned. So there you have it, some really great games with uh, Super Steve888. I really, really appreciate that he did that with me. Uh, Steve and I have been playing games together for the last uh, almost nine years, maybe? Eight or nine years? A while? So Steven is, a, you know, he, he knows the way I play things and I know the way he plays things. So there's a, there's a whole lot of layers going on that you might not quite see because we sort of know exactly how we operate from playing Magic and Pokemon together for so long. Anyway, um, a couple things that I learned here today is that Celio is not quite as hot here as it is in Timeless. Now, uh, you're probably sitting there thinking to yourself, well, no, duh, Grixis, obviously. But here's the thing. This is a practice game. I really like Celio. I wanted to try for myself and see before I brought Celio to a serious place and made a fool of myself there. Here, I don't mind being a fool. This is my little channel and I like to have fun on it. But elsewhere, don't worry, I'm not gonna bring the Celio. Um, Bronzong, while very, very, very high rated on the PV poke list, um, I didn't really get to use him all that much here. The Confusion never even saw the Venusaur. And <laughs> man, just that earthquake on the Bronzong, that hurts so bad. Um, AWAC, absolutely love AWAC. Um, and it's just one of my faves. So aesthetically pleasing and a lot of fun to play with. You got that shield bait, shadow ball, bone club, weirdness that your opponent has to figure out. Let them take care of it. That's fine. Um, Altaria, obviously tip top condition. Uh, Whiskash, I've gone over Whiskash quite a few times now. And Toxicroak, super fun. Um, wasn't super great here. I have high hopes for it elsewhere and I'm going to continue to test Toxicroak off camera, but I just like that Pokemon so much because I like poison types so much that I had to bring him in, had to see how it handled the game. Not well. Anyways, um, I have been Grixis Ghoul 15. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter and Twitch and obviously right here. So feel free to subscribe so that next time I'm here, you'll be like, oh wow, a new video. And you can watch it right then and there. That's exciting. Wow. Oh. So y'all, have a good day. Thank you so much for watching me. It always means so, so much to know that uh, people find these interesting in some way. So you have a great day. Have a great weekend. And um, I'll catch you in the next one. Wow.